<laughs> what one? Studio cool, you know, man. <laughs> Studio cool. I mean, you know, this is me. I mean, the Maverick. <laughs> I put up my hair and all them something, man. Fix back my hair. <laughs> what one, family? You know what, no? You know, it's a sometime when you're there in Jamaica. See? And you hear the news. Some news, some big news jump out, some breaking news. Sometimes you just kind of make it fly for a couple of hours or probably a couple of days. And then kind of pick up a vibe from what people are saying. And then kind of kind of pick up a temperature, you know. It's that like every time you have to run out, you know. See? Look, don't get me wrong, you know. Maverick, no, my, my opinions are not swayed by what other people think and say, you know. So I don't really listen to other people's opinion before my opinion, you know. Come remember say me say the best and most credible opinion, you know. <laughs> but we just I say it's sometimes it's fun. See, sometimes it's really fun. We just sit back more time when them something happen before me say my piece and just listen and watch some of the reaction. Case in point now. The decision by the, the Clayton twins, Tina and Tia Clayton, of Edwin Allen fame, to be done with high school and go full professional. Yeah, word is that they are now signed to Nike. And as such, they will be coached by world-renowned, the king of female sprint coaching in the world, Steve Frano Francis. So, reactions are flying left, right, and center. Some people are saying, boy, one colleague of mine said, boy, you know, them girls should have stayed at school and kind of get themselves a more a kind of foundation educationally and blah 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 um there are some other people other people in the fraternity and say good move good move i think most people are endorse the move for these twins go professional seeing of course going to mvp is another source of discussion again where people are say why mvp and why not blah 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 but hear me now me endorse the move of the clayton twins to go pro right away they gave up an additional year they would have had in school. And we have to say kudos to Edwin Allen and Michael Dyke for that. You know. Remember Kemona Davis? She was allowed to leave school with a year to go at Edwin Allen and went away to college in the States. And now the Clayton twins now, following on Kemona Davis, they also have another year left in school. But they are, they are allowed to go pro. Seeing days gone by, the coaches would have cling on to them more, make them stay at school to win some more points and win some more champs. So kudos to Michael Dyke and Edwin Allen to, to let the girls go at the right time. Them do the right thing. To me, this is a match made in heaven. Stephen Francis and the Clayton Twins. Talk about potential, them don't get much, much greater than the Clayton Twins. Tina Clayton is already a super talent at the junior level. Defending world under 20 champion over the 100 meters, breaking 11 seconds already. The first school girl to break 11 seconds in the illustrious history of Jamaican track and field. So Tina Clayton probably is ahead of her. Well, not probably, she is ahead of her sister right now. But when I hear about this deal, you know, you know and the first thing they said to somebody, I bet Fran will go up there. The, 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 the kind of person that he is, and the kind of man we love, embrace challenges. I bet Fran when they reach up the panel, try to get Tia to eventually turn out to come better than Tina. We are betting on that. We are making on early. Just remember, some of the on that something. At some point, we are going to hear say, some kind of technical reason and some physiological reason and probably some even psychological reason. You are going to hear after probably a year or two, say, Tia Clayton is now the dominant, will, be now, will become the dominant sprinter. Of the Clayton tweets. <laughs> we look forward for that still. But it's not going to be easy, though, I can tell you this. Come from where we know of them from a distance. From a distance from me there, of them. I think Tina Clayton is a beast of a competitor. And she's, she's very tenacious and she's very focused. And my understanding is that she worked very hard. See, now somebody told me that when you go to MVP, are the people that work harder get the most out of front of training. So we shall see what we shall see. But there's a little twist to it, you know. Because as far as I, I was, the information really come to me is that a gentleman who is a former manager of UCN Bolt was doing some management of this girl's career. 
since it's the kind of the assumption was that because of the close connection between that particular individual, I mean, I call him name, and Coach Glenn Mills, the girls are the up racers. What do we really think about it now? The Nike sponsorship. We don't know the magnitude of the sponsorship. We don't know the dollar figures involved. But the Nike sponsorship and the fact that Stephen Francis is a Nike coach, then it becomes now a match made in heaven. Another dynamic now. Stephen Francis, if you watch Fano Emo, he doesn't coach a lot of big champs stars, you know. He doesn't coach a lot of athletes. We, 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 we established themselves big time in a school. In fact, I can't remember any of these female, maybe Million Walker. Million Walker and Bridget Hilton. Million Walker definitely was a big star in high school still. And you see what I did with Million Walker. But generally, this are not the kind of athlete we're trying to specialize in a getting to the next level. He normally specializes the little ones. Eh? The not so bad ones, not so good ones. We show the potential and him get the potential out of them. But it should be interesting to see how we work with these twins. Should be very interesting. Eh? <laughs> see? As long as these girls, and look here, I am in no doubt, as we said to you, you know, based on how we see these twins operating, that it was a good idea to get the two of them in there at the same time. I think that was, that if, if it wasn't, well, maybe it ought to have been. But it was a good decision to negotiate the two of them together. Because, because they are so close and they are so, they are so, they're so linked emotionally that I think it, it's a brilliant idea to keep them together and they go pro together and they, they go along in the next chapter of their life together. I love that. Because we feel, them feed off of each other. I can't forget at the national championships the other day when Tina Clayton broke the national junior record and laid up on the track of ball. Is her sister Tia go over there and lift her up and hug her up and say, What you do? See, I remember we said in our previous video, you know, say, I detect a level of maturity and how them interact with each other and how them respect each other's qualities. Where is that? They don't feel guilty about competing against each other anymore. And now that them are going to a professional setup, seeing I think that kind of maturity will propel them a far way. But it's very definitely interesting times. And this thing about need for them, them girls that did need to go back to school could probably get some more substance to them education. I'm foolish is not that. You see, anything like this, them kind of decision, yeah? elemental gambling, always are involved in them decision. And when you talk about people and education and sports, watch out. You see, when you have talent, elite level talent, like the Clayton Twins, you gamble with it early. The less you, you, you hesitate and procrastinate in a decision, the, the better for you. I'm glad they made the move at 17. And we are looking for big things from the Clayton Twins. Now, if Frano can get some ordinary athletes, if you do what, me see some a Frano train the athlete they do. They were Frano uh, Agodo with a super talent. A 17 year old we are run some some 11 already. We're Frano Agodo with her. You know, she's the next stratosphere the thing going now. <laughs> you know, me are open prayer for do. Me just are open prayer. We don't have no clashes in terms of in terms of the personalities and the thing work and them get on. But as we said, they must have consulted and they must have talked before and decided say this match can work. And if it can work, it can work. And if the girls them want what they want, and Frado obviously are gonna want what he want for them, you know. If they, we can get that to come together, trouble daddy. Trouble daddy with the Clayton twins. Remember the little better me have with you, you know, YouTube family. And yes, at first me talk it, you know. Better you know. Say Frano, eventually, I will train Tia to be Tina. <laughs> Make that a little bit. Make that a little bit. Maverick out.